Hi there! After this lesson, you should be able to solve equations using the distributive property and combining like terms. Before we begin, I'd like to take a moment to review simplifying expressions. Recall, when two numbers are right next to each other, such as this 3 and 5x, it implies multiplication. We can easily multiply this. 3 times 5x is equal to 15x. However, oftentimes we have a more complex expression. We must still multiply, but to do so, we will use the distributive property. We use the distributive property when we see a number hugging an expression grouped with grouping symbols. We can simplify this expression by distributing the 3 to both the 5 and the 1. 3 times 5x is equal to 15x plus 3 times 1 is equal to 3. Great! We have just simplified this expression using the distributive property. Now let's take a look at how to simplify an expression by combining like terms. Like terms are two terms that share the same variable and power. For instance, 2x and 5x are like terms since they both contain an x. We can combine them or add them together to get 7x. Take a look at the expression 8y minus 2y. Since both terms have a y, I can combine them to get 6y. Our last example contains three terms, and we can simplify by combining like terms. Do you see any like terms in this expression? In order to keep each term separate and with the correct sign, I will circle or underline each term including the sign that comes directly before it. Let me show you. 4m and 2m have the same variable, so they are like terms. The 5 stands alone. The commutative property of addition allows me to combine like terms even though they are not right next to each other. 4m plus 2m is equal to 6m. I will cross these out because I combine them. And don't forget the negative 5. The negative 5 does not combine with anything, and so our simplified expression is 6m minus 5. Good job! Let's go ahead and solve some equations. These equations will require more than one step and so are called multi-step equations. Take a look at the following equation. And I would like to suggest that if you are taking notes that you first watch the example and then write it down. Okay, it is a bit more complex than the two-step equations we've been working on, and so we will have to first simplify. But how? Well, by using the distributive property and then combining like terms, of course. Do you see anywhere in this equation that would benefit from the distributive property? Right here. I see a number leaning against an expression contained with grouping symbols. We will distribute the 2 to the 4x and to the 1. 2 times 4x is equal to 8x. 2 times 1 is equal to 2. And we will bring down whatever operation is included within parentheses. Be sure to copy down the rest of the equation too so that we don't forget anything. There are no like terms to combine, so we can start using the properties of equality to solve or isolate the variable. First, add 2 to both sides to get 8x equal to 24. Then, divide both sides by 8 to get x equal to 3. Great! Let's go ahead and try another one. Do you see anywhere that would benefit from using the distributive property? Yep, right here I see this 2 hugging an expression within parentheses. For this example, we must also include the minus sign with the 2. Just as we include the sign when combining like terms, we will include the sign when using the distributive property. It becomes a negative 2 that we are multiplying through. We are not touching the 30 yet, so we will just bring it down. Negative 2 times x is negative 2x. Bring down that plus sign. Negative 2 times 5 is equal to negative 10. Don't forget to bring down the equals 12. 
Our new equation is 30 minus 2x plus a negative 10 is equal to 12. Or 30 minus 2x minus 10 is equal to 12. Adding a negative is the same as subtracting, so we can simply just subtract 10. Okay, now I can simplify further by combining like terms. Here, the 30 and the negative 10 are like each other because they don't have a variable next to them. You can circle like terms as you combine them so that you make sure you don't forget any. We can combine them to get 20. The negative 2x is not like any other, so we bring it down as it is and we don't forget the equal to 12. So now we have 20 minus 2x equals 12. We're almost there. Lastly, we will isolate x using the properties of equality. First, I subtract 20 from both sides to get negative 2x equal to negative 8. Then divide both sides by negative 2 to get x is equal to 4. In general, there are two rules we can follow when solving a multi-step equation. First, simplify. Many problems start out complex, so you will want to use the distributive property and then combine like terms as necessary. Second, you will work to isolate the variable or solve the equation. If necessary, get the constant and variable terms on opposite sides, then solve by using the properties of equality. Okay, take a moment and try a few problems on your own. Don't forget to pause the video while you work. All right, for part A, I will, will use the distributive property to distribute the negative three. Negative three times x is equal to negative three x. Bring down the plus sign. Negative three times six is equal to negative 18. And we will just copy down the equal to negative 36. It may be easier to write this as negative 3x minus 18 equal to negative 36. Okay, now let's start to solve. First, add 18 to both sides to get negative 3x equal to negative 18. Then, divide both sides by negative 3 to get x equal to 6. In part B, we can use the distributive property right here. We are not going to touch the negative 2 or the 40, so we can copy them down. Negative 2 times 8m is equal to negative 16m. We are subtracting, and then negative 2 times 3 is equal to negative 6. I can write this as 2 equal to 40 minus 16m plus 6. Great, now I want to combine like terms. The 40 and the 6 are like terms. 40 plus 6 is equal to 46. The negative 16m is not like any other term, so I'll copy it down. And don't forget about that negative 2. Now let's start to solve. First, subtract 46 from both sides of the equation to get negative 48 equal to 16, negative 16m. Then, divide both sides by negative 16 to get 3 equal to m. All right, now let's take a look at part C. I see grouping symbols, but I don't see a number directly outside of it. However, remember that you can multiply anything by one without changing its value. So I can sneak that one in there and include the sign that is in front of it. Negative one times three a is negative three a. Negative one times two is equal to negative two. And don't forget to copy down the rest of the problem. Good, now we can identify like terms by circling them. Four a minus three a is equal to one a. Negative two is by itself, and I will copy down the rest of the problem. Lastly, I will subtract a from both sides to get negative two equal to a. Good job. Mm -hmm.